Hi, Ishi the Warrior here, back with another Taekwondo video. I've decided that instead of another demonstration, I'd give you a little bit of the background info on the history of Taekwondo and the origins of Korean martial arts. Before I start, it's important that I say that all the content in this video is based on my own research and to the best of my understanding, but I'm not an expert. I'm just an enthusiastic student. My main sources of research are the knowledge that's been passed on by my instructor and other Taekwondoists, but also the reading and internet research I've done with my dad and sister. I've deliberately left out some of the controversial aspects of Taekwondo's history, mainly because I don't really understand it, but also because I don't think it's relevant to Taekwondo as a martial art. It's really more to do with politics than martial arts. I'll try to stick to the main points. So here goes. Literally translated, Taekwondo means the foot fist way. Tai means foot, Kwan means fist, and Do means the way or the art of. Taekwondo was founded by General Cho Hong Kai on April the 11th, 1955. But the history of Taekwondo and Korean martial arts goes back much further than that. Evidence of martial arts in Korea dates back almost to the prehistoric era over 2000 years ago. Pictures and paintings showing martial arts have been found in caves and on ancient tombs of Korean rulers dating back as early as 50 BC. Some of the styles shown in the paintings are Syrian, which is a type of Korean wrestling and grappling style, and also Subak and Taekyeon, which were kicking and striking styles. Although Taekwondo's roots are in Shotok and style karate, there is also an influence from some of those ancient styles. In the times that the old styles were widely practiced, Korea was divided into three kingdoms, the Kingdom of Gokiryu, the Kingdom of Baekji, and the Kingdom of Silla. Between 540 and 576 AD, King Jun Hung reigned as the 24th monarch of the Silla Kingdom. As king, he took steps to improve training within the Silla's military. He assembled an academy for skilled young warriors and scholars to further develop their education and combat skills. This academy was called the Huarang, meaning blooming flower or flowering nights. Huarang students studied art and philosophy, but also various types of armed and unarmed combat, incorporating different martial arts techniques and theories into their training. The Huarang became well known, admired and feared for their fighting skills and military strategies. The Huarang youth group eventually became a driving force in unifying Korea into the unified Silla Kingdom, which was the first unified Korean state in 668 AD. The Huarang are a major influence on many Korean martial arts, such as Huarang Do, Boxer Wan, Hakido, Tang Soo Do, and particularly Taekwondo. The student of and the five tenths of Taekwondo are directly inspired by the five point moral code of the Huarang. Partly due to the popularity of the Huarang, martial arts became popular in Korea and various systems of Korean martial arts developed some of which I've mentioned. Some of the styles have incorporated Chinese or Japanese martial arts techniques into their styles. For example, Japanese Kendo, which is a sword fighting style, directly influenced Korean Kundo, a very similar Korean sword fighting style. Between 1910 and 1945, the Japanese Empire occupied Korea. During the Japanese occupation, many aspects of Korean culture, including martial arts, were suppressed by the Japanese. Korean martial arts went underground and was only practiced in secret and only in small numbers. At the time, 
Japanese martial arts like Judo, Aikido and Karate became prominent in Korea. In 1945, at the end of World War II, the Japanese occupation of Korea ended and Korean martial arts started to make a comeback. The various Korean martial arts schools organized themselves into nine schools called the Kwan. Each Kwan practiced their own particular style of martial arts system based on karate or kung fu or a combination such as tang sudo which means the weight of Chinese hand or kong sudo which means the weight of the empty hand. One of the kwans established after the end of World War II was the Odo Kwan which was founded by General Chao Hong Kai and his colonel Nan Te Hai. General Choi was a second degree black belt in Shotokan Karate. Colonel Nam had trained in Taekyun and Tang Sudo. General Choi and Colonel Nam, along with several other highly respected martial artists, started teaching and developing Taekwondo in their military division, which was the 29th Infantry Division of the Republic of Korea Army. The other martial artists that contributed to the development of Taekwondo are sometimes referred to as the pioneers, founding members or original masters of Taekwondo. The three original masters of Taekwondo are General Choi Hong Hai, Colonel Nam Tae Hai and Sergeant First Class Han Cheo Gil. The other instructors and pioneers of Taekwondo from the Odo Kwan were Colonel Baek Jun Ki, Colonel Kang Su Chung, Master Sergeant Kim Buckman, Corporal Kim Jong Cham, Lieutenant Colonel Kim Su Ren, Colonel Ko Jae Chun, Lieutenant Colonel Lee Sang Kyu, Two Star Major General Wu Jong Lin, Sergeant Um Won Gyo, Grandmaster Hin Chung Win. Later, the Odo Kwan opened the branch of their martial arts school to the public due to the growing popularity of martial arts in Korea at that time. However, the style had not yet been named Taekwondo at that time. In the early 1950s, near the end of the Korean War, Colonel Nam Tae Hai and the 50 soldiers of the 29th Infantry Division performed a demonstration organised by General Chao Hong Kai in front of the First Republic Korea President Sing Man Ri. The demonstration included patterns, sparring and destruction of clay, tiles and bricks. President Ri was so impressed that he strongly urged all nine Kwans to merge under one name for a unified Korean martial art. At a meeting between the leaders of the nine Kwans and other official representatives on April 11, 1955, General Chow put forward the name Taekwondo as a unified name for Korean martial arts. The name was slow to catch on and other names were considered. But the name Taekwondo was formalised with the establishment of the Korean Taekwondo Association or KTA in 1959 of which General Chow was elected as the first president. In 1966 General Chow left the KTA and with government support he formed the International Taekwondo Federation or ITF and also published the first ever Taekwondo textbook. General Choi appointed 12 ITF matches to perform demonstrations of Taekwondo in various countries around the world and spread Taekwondo as widely as possible. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, the Masters performed a series of demonstrations around the world. The 12 ITF Masters are now referred to the 12 World Masters of Taekwondo, not to be confused with the original Masters of Taekwondo. Their names are Master Choi Changkyun, also known as Grand Master CK Choi. He introduced Taekwondo in various countries in Europe, Africa, the Middle East, 
former Yugoslavia and Canada. Master Choi Kwan Jo, who later developed his own style of martial arts called Choi Kwan Do. Master Han Cha Gyo, who introduced Taekwondo in Japan, Hong Kong, Italy, Turkey and Egypt. Master Gyo sadly died in 1996. Master Kim Jong Chan, who introduced Taekwondo in Argentina and is known as the father of Argentinian Taekwondo. Master Kim Kwang Il took part in demonstrations of Taekwondo in France and Scotland. Master Kong Young Il in Egypt, Kenya and Spain. Master Park Jung Su in the Netherlands, Canada and countries in North Africa. Master Park Jung Tae in Canada and various European countries. Master Park eventually left the ITF and founded another Taekwondo organization called the Global Taekwondo Federation or GTF in 1990. Master Park sadly died in 2002. Master Park Sun Jae in France and Italy, he is known as the father of Italian Taekwondo. Master Ri Chong Chul in Brunei, Indonesia, Singapore and Australia. He is known as the father of Australian Taekwondo. Master Ri Chang Hyuk in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore and Australia. Master Ri Ki Ha in Pakistan, South Africa, the then West Germany, Sweden, Greenland and the UK. He is known as the father of British Taekwondo and was the first person to be promoted by General Chow to the rank of Grand Master. He is therefore referred to as First Grand Master Ri Ki Ha. In 1971, the South Korean government withdrew support for the ITF and General Chow moved its headquarters settling in Canada. The South Korean government then developed their own version of Taekwondo adapted for sport and Olympic competition. This led to the current situation where there are two significantly different styles of Taekwondo. The South Korean government built a headquarters for this style of Taekwondo and other Korean styles called the Cookie One in 1973. They also established an administrative organization for the cookie style called the WTF. The cookie style has become popular in sport and it's the style of Taekwondo you will see in Olympic competitions. The style is easily recognizable by the body protection gear and lack of hand and foot protection. Practitioners of general child style of Taekwondo like the ITF generally wear protective hand and foot gear. The ITF or General Chow style of Taekwondo is developed for military combat and self-defense with a lower emphasis on the sport side of the art. The father of Taekwondo, General Chow Hong Kai, 9th degree, sadly died on June 15, 2002. The ITF has now been divided several times. There are four main organizations including the GTF. There are now also several splinter ITF organizations and various independent Taekwondo schools that still practice the ITF or general child style such as the Taekwondo school I attend with the Elite Taekwondo Academy. Amongst ITF or general child style of Taekwondo practitioners, regardless of the small differences in our styles, it's fair to say that we all practice a very similar style of Taekwondo, especially in comparison with the cookie style, which is significantly different. Taekwondo is now practiced in many countries around the world and continues to grow. I believe that it won't be too long before Taekwondo and other martial arts were also included in competitions like the Olympics. More recently, there have been steps towards uniting the WTF and the ITF. On the 9th of February 2018, a joint South Korean WTF and North Korean ITF demonstration took place at the opening ceremony of the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. 
This was an iconic moment in Taekwondo's history and is a testament to General Chow's vision of building a more peaceful world. So that's the story of Taekwondo. I hope you liked it and found it informative. I've certainly learnt a lot myself by putting this video together. Please let me know what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.